Sophia, I have seen many animated films. Do you know how these films are created? Yes, Romy. Some specific software is used to create these animated films. Really? Please tell me about this software. Sure, Romy. I will tell you about Scratch software in this chapter. Stepwise thinking and reasoning. Stepwise thinking helps in converting complicated tasks into simple steps, predicting the possible solutions to achieve the desired goal. For example, planning and organizing a birthday party, summer trip, etc. Reasoning is a stepwise thinking with a goal or purpose in the mind. Let us learn about different steps for stepwise thinking. The steps for stepwise thinking are as follows. Step 1. Analyze the task. Step 2. Break up the task into simple steps. Step 3. Predict the possible solutions. Let us plan a picnic to the theme park. Step 1. Analyze the task. Here, the task is visit to the theme park. Step 2. Now let us break it into simple steps as follows. A. How many members of the family will go? B. How many tickets do we have to book? C. How will we travel to the theme park? Step 3. Implement the possible solutions. For example, for five family members, we have to book five tickets and have to reach the theme park by car. Exploring the solution of a problem. In each activity, first list the main steps of the activity. Then for each main step, list the sub-steps. The sequence or order of the steps can or cannot be changed. It depends on the activity. The steps to explore the solutions of a problem are as follows. Step 1. Divide a task into a sequence of stepwise activities. Step 2. Identify the main steps of each activity. Step 3. Identify in which activity the sequence of steps can be changed and in which it cannot be changed. Let us take another example of participating in the group dance. First, we list the main steps of the activity. So, the main steps are as follows. Step 1. Prepare for the group dance. Step 2. Practice for the group dance. Step 3. Perform the group dance. Then, for each main step, list the sub-steps. For each main step, the sub-steps are as follows. Prepare for the group dance. Step 1. Select theme and songs for the group dance. Step 2. Collect the names of students who want to take part in the dance. Step 3. Take a trial of all the students. Step 4. Prepare a list with the names of the students and their costumes to be given to the costume supplier. Step 5. The costume supplier takes measurements for the costumes of children. Practice the group dance. Step 6. Practice the dance regularly with the help of your dance teacher. Step 7. Wear and check the costumes a few days prior to the dance performance. Step 8. Do a dress rehearsal. Perform the group dance. Step 9. Prepare for the dance. Wear dance costumes. Step 10. Perform the group dance on stage in front of parents, teachers and friends. Program. A computer is an electronic device that takes raw data as input, processes that data under a set of instructions and gives the result. These set of step-by-step -step instructions that direct the computer to the specific task is called a program. It is a plan of things that are done in order to achieve a specific result. Programming is the process to tell a computer what operations need to be performed using some specific rules so that it can execute it and produce the desired output. 
the computer does not understand our language so to give instructions to a computer we need to learn the language that it can understand such languages are called programming languages some commonly used programming languages are c c++ java etc animation animation is the process of giving the illusion of movement to drawings with the development of computer technology many animated films games and tv shows have been made from computer generated images creating an animation is not a very complicated task there are animation software such as adobe animate stick figure animate studio blender scratch etc which are used to create an animation scratch Scratch is a free programming software and one of the easiest computer languages for beginners. It enables children to create their own games, animated stories, interactive art, etc. It introduces the basics of programming in an easy and fun manner as it provides a graphical user environment that makes its learning easy. It also helps students to think creatively and work collaboratively. Let's learn Scratch 3.18.1, the latest version. Features of Scratch It is available free of cost. It is very easy to understand and learn. It increases the student's interest in programming by providing graphical environment. Programmer does not need to write text or codes to create programs, as ready-made blocks are available to create the script. Starting Scratch After downloading Scratch, the steps to open it are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. Click on the All Apps option. Step 3. Scroll down and click on the Scratch folder or Double click on the shortcut icon of the Scratch on the desktop. The Scratch window will open as follows. Let us learn about different components of this window. Components of Scratch window Title bar It is the topmost bar of the Scratch window. It contains the name and the version of the software written on the left side. On the right side of this bar, there are three buttons, Minimize, Maximize and Close. Menu bar. It contains the options like File, Edit, Tutorial and the name of the Scratch project. Tabs. Scratch provides you with three different tabs, namely Code, Costumes and Sounds. All three tabs perform different tasks. Code. It contains block categories and the list of blocks in a category. Code is stepwise instructions given to a sprite. Scripts can be seen here in the scripts area. Costumes. It contains the information of the sprite we have chosen on the stage area. We can add and make changes in the appearance of the sprites in this tab. Here we can also paint a new sprite in the paint editor. Sounds. It is used either to record our own sound or to import an inbuilt sound. Sprite. The projects in Scratch are made up of object known as Sprite. It is the object that we animate. It performs actions by following the instructions like move, rotate and play music by using graphics blocks. Stage. It is the working area where the sprites perform, move and interact with each other. It is also called the backdrop. No sprites can move behind the stage. The stage is always at the back layer and it cannot move itself. Only sprites can be dragged on the stage. Sprite list. It contains all the information about the sprite. It is just below the stage. Here we can perform different actions on the sprite. Block menu. The block menu displays categories of blocks. The blocks represent various commands that can be given to the sprite. For example, we may give instructions like rotate, move and play music using different blocks available 
in the block menu. The blocks in the menu are divided into different categories such as control, motion, looks, sound, pen, etc. Scripts area. It is also called the coding area. Blocks from the block menu are dragged into the scripts area. To program a sprite, click on the required block category and drag blocks from the block menu to the scripts area. In this area, all blocks containing instructions for sprites are placed. Go button. It is the green flag and clicked to run a scratch project. Stop button. It is the red button and clicked to stop all scripts in all the sprites. Stage mode buttons. They are located at the top right corner of the stage. They give options to the user to increase or decrease the display size of the stage or switch to presentation mode. Creating a new project. To create a new project in Scratch, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the file menu on the toolbar. Step 2. Click on the new option. A new project will appear. Changing the appearance of the sprite. When we start a new Scratch project, it begins with a cat sprite. We can edit the looks of a sprite by changing its costumes. To change the sprite's look, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Costumes tab to see and edit the sprite's costume. Step 2. Click on the image of the sprite. Select the complete image by dragging the blue border of selection. A blue line border will appear around the image. Step 3. Click on the Fill and Outline options to change the color of the sprite and the outline. Changing the stage background or backdrop. The background of the stage can be changed by clicking on the stage icon present besides the sprite list. To change the stage background or backdrop, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Choose a Backdrop option present next to Sprite List. A Choose a Backdrop window will appear with many options of backdrops. Step 2. Click on the Required Backdrop option. Here, we have clicked on Castle 2 Backdrop. Working with sprites. By default, a single cat sprite is always present on the stage when we start a new project in Scratch. We can create our own sprite, can use the available sprites or import the new sprites for our projects. Let us learn to add a new sprite. Adding a new sprite. Adding a new sprite is very simple. The new sprite buttons are used to add new sprites. There are four new sprite buttons. Choose a sprite, paint, surprise, upload sprite. Let us learn about them one by one. Choose a sprite. Scratch contains many inbuilt sprite options. Clicking on Choose a Sprite button will open a sprite library which shows multiple options of sprites. Select any folder like animals, fantasy, letters, people, etc. There are different types of sprites in the folder. Click on the required sprite. The selected sprite will appear on the stage and will get added to the sprite list. Drag it to the place where we want it on the stage. Paint. Clicking on this button opens the paint editor window where we can create or draw a new sprite. There are many paint tools present in this window. We use these tools to draw a colorful sprite. The same sprite will be there on the stage and can be added in the sprite list. Surprise! Clicking on this button will randomly pick any sprite from the sprite library and will add it on the stage. Upload sprite. Clicking on this button will let us add our own sprite from the computer or the internet. Working with different blocks. Blocks are lines or sets of commands or scripts which we drag into the scripts area to create a project. Each sprite can have more than one script associated with it and each script can have as many blocks as we need. The blocks are connected to each other just like a jigsaw puzzle to perform a task.
using blocks in Scratch. To use a block, simply select the sprite it applies to and then drag it onto the scripts area. To start creating a script, click on the asset we wanted to apply to, either the stage or a sprite, and then drag the relevant blocks onto the scripts area to the right. To add multiple blocks to a script, drag new blocks into the location in the script where we want them to appear. We can add new blocks above or below the existing blocks. To remove a block from a script, just drag it to the left, away from the script's area. Different types of blocks in Scratch There are different categories of blocks in the Scratch. Each of these includes a number of blocks we can use to do similar jobs. Let us learn some of these categories in detail. Motion blocks Motion blocks are used to move the sprites. These blocks add movement to the sprites and let them move on the stage. They are dark blue in color. We can only use motion blocks with sprites, not with the stage. This block is used to move sprites forward and backward, turning them in all the directions, etc. The steps to move and rotate a sprite are as follows. Step 1. Open the scratch window. By default, the motion block palette is displayed on the left side of the scratch window. Step 2. Click on the move 10 steps block and drag it to the scripts area. Step 3. Change the step number from 10 to 20 by typing in the number box. Click on the block. We will notice that the sprite moves the specified number of steps. Step 4. Click on the turn 15 degrees block. Now, drag and drop it on the scripts area. Place it below the move 20 steps block. Keep clicking on any block in the scripts area. The sprite will move and rotate according to the blocks. Event block. The topmost event block is it gives the control of all the blocks. It helps to run the script on the stage. Without this block, no program will run. Sound blocks. The pink set of blocks is a sound block which is used to add sound in an animation. Various blocks that come under this category are blocks to play or stop sounds, blocks to play drum sounds, blocks to change or set the volume or tempo and to display them on the stage. Looks blocks The looks blocks appear in purple color and they control the look of the sprite their size and their position. These blocks also include blocks that display text. These can be used with sprites for a fixed period of time or indefinitely. They will display text in a speech bubble while the think blocks will display it in a thought bubble. Making a sprite say something. We can also make a sprite say a word or a sentence in a scratch project. The Say Hello block allows the sprite to give some message in a voice bubble. The steps to make a sprite say something are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Looks block category. Drag the Say Hello block from it and drop it onto the scripts area. Step 2. Now select the Control block category and drag the Wait 1 seconds block to the scripts area. Place these two blocks together. This block makes a sprite wait for the specified number of seconds before moving to the next block of the script. Step 3. Again, select the Looks block category and place the Say How Are You for 2 seconds block below the Wait 1 seconds block. This block allows the sprite to say some message for the specified number of seconds. Step 4. Type in the message how are you inside the text space of the block. Step 5. Drag out the say hello block again and place it at the end of the script. Change the text of the block to good. Step 6. Click on any of the blocks to run the block stack. Saving a project. To save a project, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the file menu on the toolbar. Step 2. Click on the Save to your computer option.
the Save Project dialog box will appear. Step 3. Browse and select the folder in which we want to save the project. Step 4. Type the file name in the file name box. Step 5. Click on the Save button to save the project. Opening a project. To open an already saved project, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the file menu on the toolbar. Step 2. Click on the load from your computer option. The open dialog box will appear. Step 3. Browse and select the folder in which the project is saved. Step 4. Select the project name which we want to open. Step 5. Click on the open button to open the project. The selected project opens in the scratch window. Exiting scratch. To exit scratch, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Click on the close button present on the top right side. A small leave scratch window will appear. It will ask us to save the unsaved project. Step 2. Click on the stay option will bring us back to the scratch window and the leave option will close the scratch window. Dictionary Stepwise Thinking It helps in converting complicated tasks into simple steps. Reasoning It is a stepwise thinking with a goal or purpose in mind. Program It is the step-by-step -step instructions that direct the computer to do the specific task. Programming It is the process of taking an algorithm or stepwise thinking and encoding it into a programming language so that a computer can execute it and produce the desired output. Animation It is the process of giving the illusion of movement to drawings. Scratch It is a free programming software to create games, animated stories and interactive art. Let's refresh. Every activity has a sequence of steps that must be followed. A computer also works on step-by-step -step instructions called programming. The sequence of the steps can or cannot be changed. Scratch is an animation software that lets us create animations, games, interactive stories, quizzes, etc. Scratch projects are made up of objects called sprites. The blocks from the blocks menu are dragged to the scripts area to program a sprite. By default, a single cat sprite is always present on the stage. When we start a new project in Scratch, there are different categories of blocks in Scratch. Blocks are lines or blocks of code which we drag into our project to create a script. The motion blocks are used to give motions to sprites. The looks blocks are used to add speech bubbles and thought bubbles to the sprite. The sound blocks are used to add sounds in an animation.